Manu Ginobili has announced today that he's going to retire from the NBA from the game of basketball after 16 amazing NBA seasons. He's never going to be forgotten. He is a legend, an NBA legend, an international legend, a legend from Argentina. He had a huge impact on the NBA and the game of basketball. He popularized the Eurostep in the NBA. He remixed it. This was a move that was being used by other players in Europe, but it wasn't quite like Ginobili's. His version is the version that you're seeing everybody using today. Ginobili is from Argentina. He's not from Europe, but he played in the EuroLeague. He's a EuroLeague champion. He's also a EuroLeague Finals MVP. He won the Olympic gold medal for his country, Argentina. And that was very embarrassing for the USA that year. That was when we got knocked out. We did not get the gold. And it was Argentina that won it all that year. He's also an NBA champion, a four-time NBA champion. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame easily. This is a clutch player. He's hit many game winners. He's a great three-point shooter, a mid-range shooter, terrific slasher. He makes crazy layups. He dunks the ball sometimes. He's a terrific defender, and he's a terrific teammate. You never hear about Ginobili shooting too much, forcing it, jacking up shots. He always plays within the offense. He'll do whatever you ask him to do. He even came off the bench. With all of his talents and his abilities, he gladly came off the bench when he was asked. He's a very unselfish player. This is the type of guy that every team wishes they had. He does everything that you need from a shooting guard and from a player on your team. He's very fancy. And Ginobili wasn't even drafted that high. He was the 57th pick in the NBA draft in the second round. It's always been a risk to draft players that are coming from overseas, but Ginobili's development and other players as well, guys like Dirk, they really help teams pull the trigger because you just don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know what's capable. And if they develop, you could get something really special. So Ginobili, he'll never be forgotten. Tremendous competitor, fierce competitor, fearless. And even as his career was coming to an end, he was still performing in the clutch. Remember, he blocked James Harden in the playoffs, and then he helped the Spurs avoid the sweep from the Warriors last season. Ginobili is definitely a Hall of Famer. He basically accomplished everything that a player could accomplish. An Olympic gold medal, NBA championships, six man of the year, drafted late, developed into a star. He was an all-star. He was only a 2X all-star. That is amazing when you think about it. That is how crazy that Western Conference is. And because he did come off the bench a lot. Ginobili had an amazing career. I'm going for the touchdown right there. Wide open. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I'm salty that I have to settle for three when I had a touchdown right